A long awaited victory for our Donner Redskins. Highlights are next, plus some exclusive interviews. Have you checked your television lately? And see the power of the microphone in our own principal's hands. You're watching the DHS News. Friday, October 7, 2005. Thank you for joining us. In today's top story, our mighty fighting Donna Redskins won last Friday's game 26-6 against the Edinburgh North Cougars. Here's a preview of the Redskins highlights. <laughs> On Saturday, October 1st, 2005, the Donna Redskin Band competed at the BOA or Bands of America competition in La Jolla. Here were the results. Congratulations, Redskin Band, for your great performance. Prison Break, Arrested Development, The Family Guy, and The Simpsons are some names that some people remember and others don't. All of these programs are now on Fox National Cable 6. But have you flipped through the television stations lately? <sighs> there is a new station now on the RGB. It's Fox Radio Channel 2. The UPN network of the Rio Grande Valley merged with Fox National to bring the Valley new programming. Local programming consists of shows like South Park and Family Feud, while network programming is the programming that's shown every night on Fox National. The only problem may be that you may need a stronger antenna to receive this station. Also on Saturday, October 1st, 2005, the Donna High School UIL academic team competed at Harlingen South High School in math and science events. The results were... In UIL, there are just math and science events to sign up in. There are also events for those good in memorizing, writing, reading, spelling, or up to date on the news. If you would like more information on UIL, stop by room 14 and speak with Mr. Zuniga. Remember, when the test are scored, awards are given out for individual students and then the award for the top school in that event. So the more students, the better for Donna High School. Now here's the weather with Juan. Juan? This morning, Donna's at 84 in New York at 76, showers along the eastern seaboard. Tonight, temperatures will drop down into the 60s here in the valley and 30s in the central U.S. and more showers on the east coast. And Saturday night, it won't be as cold as tonight, but we'll still feel those 60s here in the valley. For our Friday forecast, we are no indication of storm and a slight chance, but a slight chance of them forming. Your cooling needs won't be as, as needed because of the cold front that passed through early today. For today, a high of 84, mostly sunny, with a 20% chance of rain. Winds north northwest at 16 miles per hour. Humidity at 54%. And the UV index will be at 9, which means try and stay indoors between 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. The record for today was 98 degrees set in 1989. Tonight, nice and clear with a low of 61. A chance of some overnight showers. Slight winds at 6 miles per hour, and the record was 54 set in 1964. Tomorrow morning for all you band students or any athletes that have competitions or any other events that may be going on, it will be bright and sunny with a high of 87, slight winds at 9 miles per hour. The sun will rise 728. The UV index will still be at 9 as well. The record for, this, for Saturday morning was 96 at 1962. For your football Saturday forecast calls for a low of 64 degrees. Very high humidity, so it will be extra sticky out there. Clear skies and the sun will set at 711. The record for tomorrow night was 44 degrees, set in 1952. And the seven day weather outlook showed a chance for rain every day for the next seven days. And highs mostly in the 80s, lows in the high 60s. And that's your DHS weather forecast brought to you in part by the Weather Channel. Anthony, did you go to this past Friday's game? Yes. What do you have to say about our defense? We stepped it up so much this week. We looked like a whole other team. We were playing together for the first time in weeks, and it was it was a great thing to see. 
How's our offense doing? I really haven't paid attention to our offense. I'm they, more of a defense kind of girl. Well, they also stepped it up this week. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. <laughs> Today with Gil with his first victory. How's it feel, Gil? Oh man, it feels great. We gotta win it. We're gonna go district, baby. Here we go. And Gil, what was your accomplishment tonight? Your accomplishment? Well, the first half defense really kicked butt, and then the second half the offense really came through. They did good, and they, as you can see, we won the game. Oh uh, man, just keep it up, and we're gonna do. We're gonna keep it up all season, and we're gonna go try to win district. All right. Thank you, Gil. It's our second district game, so I think we'll still make it to the playoffs if we play how we did. So we just gotta step it up next game. Next. With it, five boys! Five! Count of five! Hey, you're Oh, my number 33, my name's Chris. Winning five plays. Congratulations to all you Donna Redskins out there. Great game on Friday. Now, our next test will be Saturday, October 8, 2005, against the PSJA Bears at Bears Stadium. Now, Though the monitor and many valley, many uh, newscasters are predicting against us, I believe that we can win this game. We have we showed so many signs of great of greatness last week against Edinburgh North. In the fourth quarter, everybody stepped it up, and our offense looked better, our defense looked better, our team looked better, and we can all pull it together again. I think we have a great chance of beating the Bears and shocking the valley once again and showing what Donna Pride is all about. For all you NASCAR fans out there, on Sunday, October 2nd, 2005, the NASCAR Next Hell Cup race at Talladega got interesting when Scott Riggs, number 10, took a horrible crash at turn, uh, on turn four, leaving nothing of his car. 14 other drivers were affected by this wreck, but nobody was hurt. There were a total of 25 cautions, and the race was not completed because of NASCAR's green-white checkered rule, which is, a race cannot end on the yellow. So if a caution is out with less than three laps to go, the race restarts with two laps to go. But if there is a caution within that restart, the track is frozen and the race ends. Before we leave, see what the power of the microphone can do in the hands of our own principal, Mr. Castillo. From the Redskin Network and DHS News team, thank you for joining us. Have a good day, and please support our Mighty Fighting Redskins tomorrow in, in the game against the PSJA Bears.